What's going on guys? Welcome or welcome back to Dan Reacts. I'm Dan. This is my reaction channel. We are here for the penultimate episode of Moon Knight. I don't know why I just had a spasm just now. I'm so incredibly excited for this. Not only is it the penultimate episode, but it's the second to last episode. So I feel like everything that's been culminating in this show is going to come to a head in this one. I have a feeling because typically the last episodes are more so most of the time. Like, you know, okay, the climax happened. Now let's kind of pick up the pieces and like finish it off. That's usually the way it is. So I have a feeling that this is going to be the episode. And I'm just so incredibly excited. The last episode ended off with Mark and Steven in physical form with each other. Well, kind of in physical form. In physical form, but like where I think is not a real world, maybe. Like in their mind or some psychic world. Um, and then they run into this hippo, which... <laughs> like, I'm sure most of us probably were confused by. I know a lot of us had their our own, like, opinions and theories on who it was or what it is. But that definitely came, like, to, to me, it came out out of nowhere. Like, it was a huge surprise. I was like, what in the heck? So I'm very interested to see what the deal with the hippo is. Also, his third personality is 100% locked away in that sarcophagus. And he is banging on the wall. And he wants to come out. And I don't know if I want to meet him because as most of you probably think, like, he, I think he's the one that kills all the people. Because as we've seen, Mark blacks out and doesn't know how people die. And Steven blacks out and doesn't know how people die. So there's clearly one other person that is doing something. And I feel like he is going to be the get the bad guy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm also very curious if this is something they're going to be able to wrap up in two episodes or if we can very much expect a Moon Knight season two or a Moon Knight film or something further coming from this. Um, because I just feel like there's no way that this story is going to be successfully wrapped up by the end. I just feel like there's still a lot going on and a lot to address and a lot to explain. So we'll see. I have no idea what's going to happen. Layla is on the, the, the rocky point right now in her relationship with Steven and Mark. She just found out that... They were there for her father's assassination and his murder. And so she's very upset. And Aro is just planting seeds and doing some crazy shit. And I really just, I don't even know if I'm rooting for him because it does feel like at the end of the day, Khonshu is kind of the, the dominant suppressor and the one that is kind of at wrong. But also like he's clearly not right either, so... I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. I'm so incredibly excited for this. Let's uh, let's just get right into it. Moon Knight Episode 4. Oh, wait. No. Moon Knight Episode 5. Oh, my God. All right. This episode's called Asylum, which just immediately infers so many different ideas in my head based off what we already saw. Um, and it's 50 minutes, so... Three minutes shorter than most of the episodes, but it's decent, you know? Violently vacillating between sense and nonsense. Oh my god, he's like fucked up now. In the face. You're doing everything and everything possible not to look within. Is that why you keep starting imaginary fights in our hospital? You're not a doctor. I feel like a real doctor. You're not a doctor. Mm, no, man, you're way too fucking sneaky. It's not about me, okay? Let's start with you. Let's try it your way. Retrace your steps. You were with a rhinoceros and a hippopotamus. Do you think that is sense or nonsense? What a condescending asshole. So manipulative. The struggling mind will often build places to seek shelter. Somebody else will see a maze or a library. A psych ward. Mark, don't fall into this shit, dude. It is so not real. Before you got upset, you were talking to me about a boy. You think you could tell me about that little boy? I feel really great. <laughs> I mean, they must pay you a lot of money. <laughs> He's just got a fucking glass shard in his hand. 
say to myself, I thank you. God damn, I don't want to lose the beer. I'm going to be a 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 beer. What is happening? Just a second ago, I thought that I'd been shot to death. I'm afraid you're actually quite dead. I'm sorry, what? I'm dead? We're dead? Yes. Oh my god. Uh, excuse me. Uh, 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 okay, here we go. I love her personality. She's very like. <laughs> Gentle travel uh, travelers. To the realm of the Juot. Juot. She's guiding us through our journey to the afterlife. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. You may perceive this realm as something more easily recognizable to you. A psych ward's a first for me, but... Wow. So he's projecting this image because maybe it's more of a comfortable place for him to be. We're insane. Talking hippo, talking dead bird. No, 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 Mark. Don't, don't let go. You cannot just think that you're insane. So, like, right through these doors, for example, we go through here. There's gonna Mark. be a bunch of patients. And Bingo! Oh my god! Oh, what a beautiful shot! These colors, the purple with the gold, incredibly beautiful. What did you say we're going? We're sending to our route. Uh, to feel the brain. I love how that, like, woke him the fuck up. He realized, like, oh no, we're here. Even though that could very well also be in your imagination, too. The field of reeds. But, uh, before we get to there, I'm just going to do a quick... Those are their hearts? If the scales balance by the time you end the journey, then a soul is permitted to pass into a field of reeds. So that's kind of already like a, what, what Hera was doing, in a sense. No one balanced souls on my boat. Them's the rules. Fingers crossed for you guys, okay? Does it come to Kill the hippo, steal the bomb. Sure. I mean, Mark, you're gonna kill a goddess? It's the hearts. They are full. Of course they're not full. Without balanced scales, you ought to eventually claim your soul. This boat contains all of a life's memories. Get in there and show each other the truth. Balance your scales before we arrive at the field of reeds. Wow, this is a really creative way of getting these care like uh, uh, getting Mark or Stephen to really tap inside. From a show perspective, this is a really creative way to do it. One hippo and two of us, and the ship can't be that hard to steer, so... And we don't have to actually, you know, like... Have to what? Kill the goddess to win it? Yeah, how are you gonna kill a goddess, dude? Also, like, she's so nice. She's not, like, mean. She's just doing her job. I don't know about you, but my memories are a freaking mess. That. Mine too. Oh, that's the first episode. That is really cool to see it from that perspective. I don't know if I would like to be in a place like this and just see all of my life pass through. I don't know if I would like that. Do you remember this? Yeah. I don't know, it's just a street. You know, how many streets have you walked down your whole life? That's the third personality. Just a creepy calf filled with dead bodies. Oh, these are all the people he's killed? Goodbye. Go on. Are you sure they're not? All of them? You killed all of them? Mark. You remember each person. You tried taking a life. It's very true, man. Regardless of whether they're a murderer or a rapist, killing somebody is... That's an act. Do you see this? Look. The scales are slowing down. It's working. Now wait, wait, what do we do? You gotta keep getting deep, guys. 
have that heart to heart. Maybe a, a form of these personalities have been created to suppress the behavior and decisions that he's made. And not, like, fully own it and accept it. Wait a moment. Wait, wait a moment. Wait. Oh, that's not good. You never split up the party. Mom? Food's ready. Who's hungry? We'll eat later. Boys? Gone too long. But I am your brother, okay? Later, skaters. Wild crocodile. Oh, is his brother gonna die? Uh... Can you get that, Dr. Brown? I sure do, Rosa. Sounds to me like danger. He watched that movie as a boy. It'll be fine. I'm here, baby. I have full body chills all over my body right now. That was redundant. That was Kanshu. Dude, Mark is going fucking crazy trying to find him. I'm so scared. Oh my god. I'm telling you, chills all over. Mark, let him go. He needs to see this. Wendy, please. You're just about to blow out the candles now. She's not coming. Damn, what a piece of shit, mother. I'm sorry. That's a human reaction, but also piece of shit. Piece of shit. You are still a mother. You still have one more child. Stupid fucking bitch. I'm sorry. What a good dad. Can't have a birthday without your favorite cake. Oh, dude, she's a mess. I, I should have known you would do something like this. Oh my god, this bitch. Yes, get the fuck out of there, Mark. That angers me so bad. She was lying. Why are you hiding, Mark? Son, please come inside. She will get help. You're supposed to fix this. I mean, why haven't you? True. Why hasn't the dad stepped up and fixed this? I cannot lose another son. Please. I should not see it. job was to raid an Egyptian tomb. Bushman changed the plan. Dr. Foley, Layla's dad. He tried to get them all away. What happened to you? Oh my god, oh my god, I'm fucking so nervous. What's gonna happen? Conscious tomb. What a waste. Oh, man. The hell are you? I am the god Conchu, in search of a warrior. 
the mind. I feel it. Fractured. Yeah, that's why you want it, because it's easy to manipulate. Who's manipulating you from the start? Yup. Mark, who's, who's taking advantage of you? Well, it's just a way for me to keep being what I've always been. Kill her. Scales. Have we done it? Have we balanced them? Not quite, but you guys are getting there. Rise and live again. Catch my moonlight. Wow. Unbalanced souls are being judged and condemned to the sands before their time. Oh, this is bad. Is that Hero? Even if I could send you back up there, you'd just be returning to a body with a bullet in it. Can you send word to Layla? Please help us free Conchu. Are you sure you want to be with Conchu again? This is our only shot. It's where it's gotta be. Damn. For all of this, for him to get rid of Conchu, only to realize that he's the only way that they can stop it. Well, what a good hippo. She was like, okay, fine, we'll do this. She doesn't deserve to die. Hippo scales balanced. I love this hippo. She deserves everything. Just give me a second here, okay? Um, look, we don't have to go. Let's just talk right here, right now. I'll tell you, I'll tell you everything. Well, you gotta be honest, though. Don't make us go there again. It's not worth it. about to lose everything. Do you understand? Maybe this isn't for Stephen to see, it's for Mark to see. If Layla dies, it'll be all your fault. No, 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 you can't! No, 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 stop, stop. Oh my. Reliving these kind of traumatic memories can be so painful. I'm so proud of you, Mark. You're gonna have to open up to Stephen. Can you do that? Can you open up to Stephen? This is beautifully deep, and I'm just in awe of this show. What a fucking evil bitch. Potty hell. Look at the state of this place. Lord, open the door right now. I knew it. Danger is near. Stephen Grant has no fear. See what she did. It's disgusting. to see that. You're not meant to see that. That's the whole point of you. Wow. The point of me what to be a stress ball? All this time I thought I was the original. What does it matter? What, you want to remember the truth? That you had a mother that beat you? That, that made your life a living hell? You're lying. You're just trying to upset me. Look at these tears coming, guys. Yeah, let me out, let me out, let me out! Let me out! Oh, God, I'm so sorry, Steven. Oh, my God, this is the first time he's seeing Steven. See, I feel like in this room, Steven's going to be much more easy to manipulate. Tahara, yeah, is it? That's right. Oh, yeah, look at that. I asked Mark to open up to you. Did he get a chance to speak with you? Yeah, well, he, he... Yeah, we talked. Yeah, yeah, we had a little bit to say. What do you feel that he lied to you about? Oh, nosy. Oh, nosy. I fucking love Stephen. Your mother passed. Oi, don't say that. That's not true. That you say mistaken. that again. My mother is alive. You I, say that again. I will I, I, freak out, I promise. I must be mistaken. Would you, would you like to speak with her? What do we call her? Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Dylan, 
Yeah. Don't you call Mrs. Green, please. No, she screams of course. She'll just answer. She's afraid of telly sales. She she'll always talk to you. Oh, Stephen. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Oh, please don't do that. It's raining. Don't bother her, please. He doesn't want to admit that she's not alive. Uh, Stephen's here. He'd like to speak with you. Oh my god, I feel so bad for this dad, for Mark, for everybody. Is there a more perfect actor than Oscar Isaac, honestly? Let me know. That is absolutely heartbreaking. He creates this to just escape the trauma and it's it's obviously something I knew was probably the reality but now finally seeing this play out this way, <sighs> fucking heartbroken. What an absolute muppet. No, I know I did it again. But I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking down a street. Mom's death and Shiva two months ago. It's a big moment our lives started leading into each other. All the things I'd done. Mom, I shouldn't have brought him in that cave. I shouldn't have brought him in that cave. Hey, you were just a child. It wasn't your fault. I haven't stopped crying. Like, holy shit, this is... Hey, did you feel that? I thought we just stopped. Oh, they reached their destination? never balanced. Our journey's come to an end. I, I cannot stop the inevitable. I'm just really rooting for you guys. Oh, what? They were doing so good. Oh my god. No, no, I don't like that. Steven, do something! Oh! Mark! You've got this from you. And I've got this too. Yes! Alright, Steven! This is what I wanted to see. Oh my god, Steven! Oh my god. <laughs> my heart is actually beating. <sighs> I mean, well, that was 
an incredible episode. I have full chills all over my arm. Can you guys see them? Can you see them? Like, they almost hurt. I mean, to see all that kind of, to see that come to a head was just, it did not disappoint. Obviously, the themes of the mental health with the split personalities has been teased and played into this entire season. And so to see it finally come to a head like that, and to see this character confront it like that, was so powerful and emotional and everything I honestly wanted it to be. When the show started and I initially said, I can't wait to see this show get deep, this is everything I wanted it to be. This was every level of deepness I wanted. There is no end credit scene, okay. As somebody who has experienced some similar things that this character has experienced in terms of just the losing the mother aspect and struggling to accept it, that definitely really just kind of hit me in like a really sad way. But at the same time, it's just reaffirms how incredible this show is and just... And if this character like remains dead, I'm going to be so heartbroken because I just, I need this character to be, be more in my life. Cause it's just, it's the, when I'm like speechless, I don't have a, I'm a, at a loss of words. When Marvel does emotion, when Marvel plays into something that's deep, it's the best Marvel there is. Period. End of story. My favorite Marvel characters are the ones that have deep, painful, painful backstories. Mark Spector, Stephen Grant has easily submitted itself into one of my top Marvel characters of all time. I mean, the character itself is written beautifully. But then Oscar Isaac plays this character beautifully. And he's acting by himself for most of it. Obviously, there's probably like a stand-in, right? He's probably standing with somebody for angle shots and stuff like that. But he's acting by himself. And that is so impressive anytime an actor does that. And he is so impressive in this show. And he got me to cry like four or five times in this 45-minute episode. Like, I... I just, we still didn't get a lot of resolution on the asylum itself and like how much of it's in his head, how much of it's real life. Is all of this in his head? Is all of this happening in real life? It's it's all very hard to tell right now. I loved the scenes with the hippo. I thought the hippo was a great character. She was a breath of fresh air in this really dark, intensive episode. Hearing her voice just kind of lightened up the mood a little bit. So I really enjoyed her character. Getting to see Steven become Steven and fight his way through all of that was such a joy and such a treat. But at the same time, the fact that it ended in what it ended in. I mean, is that the death of Steven Grant? Is, is, the, is the point of this show for Mark to just fully be himself? Because I'm conflicted if that's the case. Because obviously I want him to just be able to like be himself and not have to latch into other personalities to escape trauma and PTSD. But at the same time, Steven's such a great character that I don't want him to go anywhere. You know, like, very conflicted on that. I thought it was very dark and poignant when Steven said, this is all your fault to Mark. In the same tone, in the same way that his mother said it. His mother gotta be one of the biggest piece of shits in the MCU. I mean, she was damaged, she was broken, she had a hard time, but she really dropped the ball. And it's almost unforgivable at that point. <sighs> we got one episode left, guys. We got one episode left, and I'm praying to God it's one episode left of season one. Because this show has to continue. This story has to continue. I cannot say goodbye to this character. I'm so emotionally invested in this character. I feel more emotionally invested in this character, I'll be honest, than a lot of the MCU shows that have come out over the last year. 
I feel so connected and emotionally invested in this character and I just, I need him to play a huge role moving forward because he's easily my favorite. He's easily one of my favorites. Um, I, I'm, I'm gonna have a field day rewatching this episode. I cannot wait to go watch all the breakdown videos and really just dive into everything that was played into and themed in this episode. Easily one of the best MCU episodes. I think it's up there with the episode nine of WandaVision. I think it's up there with the final episode of Loki. I think this was a phenomenal episode and I am just so incredibly impressed and pleased with everything about it. I think that Marvel, it's a theme, but Marvel's first shows of the year always seem to just be home runs and one division was the first show of 2021, and that was a home run. This show's the first show of 2022, and there's a good chance it is going to be the best one of the year. Um, it, it's going to be very difficult for them to top this for me, personally. Um, that's going to conclude this episode, though, guys. Uh, I didn't really break down a lot in this video, as my mind is just racing, as I'm sure most of yours is. Let me know in the comments what you thought, what your theories are, what your you know, feelings about everything was, I, I know for me, like, it brought out a lot of emotions that I was not expecting it to. I said at the beginning of the episode, this is the penultimate episode. I know it's going to come to a head. I know it's going to be a big deal. I was not expecting it to be that kind of a deal. <sighs> if you liked my episode, if you liked my reaction, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date on this journey. We got one Moon Knight episode left and judging by the way everything has played out, I feel like it is going to be an emotional one. So get ready, guys. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video.